Commander is probably my favorite format in MTG to build for. Not only does it have an extremely diverse pool to choose from, it also lets you play really big spells and creatures that you'd normally never get to play. And that's what we're going to be looking at here. For the first card in this series, I chose Cruel Ultimatum. Originally printed in Shards of Alara, Cruel's Ultimatum is one of my all-time favorite cards. This isn't something that most decks can expect to use, but a commander deck with these colors can almost always get some use out of it. For 2 blue, 3 black, and 2 red, you can cast this sweet sorcery for some seriously sinister stuff. Target an opponent, and they sacrifice a creature, discard 3 cards, and lose 5 life. But wait, there's more! After your opponent does that, you do the opposite. That's right, you bring a creature back from the graveyard, draw 3 cards, and gain 5 life. This card is nuts. Cruel Ultimatum is one of the few gold cards that perfectly encompasses all of its colors. It draws you cards to cover its blue bases, disruption and removal for black, and a good bit of burn for red. For 7 mana, this will probably be the only thing you do on the turn you cast it, but it's still going to be a very productive turn with a lot going on. But this is Commander we're talking about, and there are tons of ways to cheat stuff into play. Counterlash is the first card that comes to mind. Just counter an opponent's sorcery, then play your own. Or just play Omniscience and all your spells are free. This card has obvious playability and insane value. It's probably why it's been printed in Dual Decks, a From the Vault set, and even Commander 2013. This many reprints has the card at a more than reasonable price. With From the Vault foils going for less than a dollar, everyone can afford to pick this one up. Well guys, this has been Commander Card of the Week, and I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, and as always, have a great day, guys.